When it comes to protecting the rights of the LBGTQ community, West Virginia is one of 28 states that currently has no statewide non-discrimination law. The message of human decency, the message of doing what is right. And we know that that will cause some uncomfortable conversations. The Fairness Act has been introduced for many years in the state legislature, but has yet been passed into a law. Daniel Stewart believes 2020 is the year. I, I feel hopeful and I feel positive. I mean, I think that West Virginia is at a turning point. West Virginia is at in a position where it wants to take leadership in a lot of areas, the LGBT non-discrimination being one of those areas that we have the opportunity to take leadership in. If the Fairness Act is passed, LGBTQ people in West Virginia will be safe from discrimination and be able to live, work, and raise their families openly. I'm very confident in what was said today. I'm very excited for the inclusion and the diversity of the panel. Many times we have issues and all of the shareholders are not brought to the table. But to have someone sitting amongst us telling their truth that is part of the LGBTQ IA plus community was phenomenal. That is progress in the right direction. To have religious leaders take a stand with us and speak their truth of the discrimination that they have went through. Senate President Mitch Carmichael supports the discrimination bill but can not guarantee it will pass. Uh, and Senator Carmichael is right. This, this is a hard fight and, it, and this is a, something that deserves our legislature's attention. Uh, to get all the details right. Because while we, this protects the LGBTQ community, it's really about civil rights for everybody in West Virginia. And I think through his leadership that this is something that our legislature will have an opportunity to look at this session. Reporting in Charleston for Newswatch, I'm Shakira Hawkins.